Antonio, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. How are you, mister? Uh, I'm tired, teacher. Tired? Tired, tired. Oh, really? Yes, I, I had a long day at work. Oh, so sorry to hear that. The thing yeah. happened to me. Well, in my case, was the weather. The weather was killing me. The climate was killing me, you know? I was sleepy, very uncomfortable. In your place? Yeah, when I work, it was hot and humid. Right, right now, in this moment, it's hot. It's hot here. But yeah. it is it, going to rain. Yeah, it looks like raining. Looks like raining, teacher. Yeah, I know so, the same here. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe more later. Maybe later. Maybe, maybe later. Raining here. That last night, last night, uh, start raining when the finish class, teacher. Yeah, actually, yeah. where I where I live, it started raining like at nine forty. Really? Yep. But I it was yes. Uh, here, uh, finish class it start raining here. Yeah, yeah, I understand you. It was very heavy, right? Yes, but. For the moment is is hot, is very hot. So yeah, I don't know. We'll see, we'll see. Let's hope it rains a little bit. We need that so it can be a fresh night. Yes. I I was I was sleeping very fresh. Yeah. Last night. Yes, last yeah. night. Last night was mm -hmm. a little bit fresh. It was nice. Yes, teacher. Is is just start raining. Oh really? Yes. Wow. But a little. Let's hope it doesn't affect the class. I hope so, teacher. Yeah, me too, me too. Welcome, Antonio. Yeah, tell me, tell me, tell me, please. I don't, I don't like your ear, ear flu. Oh, you don't like to wear earplugs, yeah. I don't like it, teacher. But if, if it starts raining, I can be, I can be do. Yeah. Yes, teacher. Oh. Antonio, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Mailing, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? How was your day? Today was a bad day, but I'm okay. Yeah, long day at work. Now in the morning, um, I have trouble with something. Uh, how, do, how do you say commentaries? Comments. Comments with of my partners. Um, yeah, that's problematic. Yes, but. My boss is very com comprehensive with me. Um, oh, okay. Mm, that's good. Yes. And uh, what time did you finish working today? Mm, uh, 
by 12 p.m. By 30. By 30. By 30. Yes. Okay. By 30. That's cool. You're working from home or you go to the office? From home. That's I nice. only, only wait by 5, 30. Um, I, I, oh my God, I, mean, I take a nap. I take a nap. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. I mean, you deserve to relax after a hard day at work. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Welcome to the class, Maggie. Nice having you here. Thank you. Xiomara, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Great. How was your day? My day was... A good day. Sorry? A good day. Yes, a good day. Oh. Well, we'll perhaps we can talk later. Welcome to the class, Yamara. Thank you, teacher. Gabriel, hello. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, fine, teacher. Fine. Okay. How was your day? Tell me. Um, Did you have a good day? I okay, what about that work? work? What did you do today? Work, work, and work. Okay, okay. And what time did you finish working? What time? No, not you know. Understand. What time? What time? What time did you finish? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, is six p.m. Okay. Wow. Uh, uh, yes. And at what time did you get home? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, what time did you get home? Como como digo quince a las siete. A quarter to seven. A quarter to seven. A quarter to seven. Mm -hmm. um, eh, solo comí y ya estamos aquí. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Excellent. Welcome to the class, Gabriel. Thanks, teacher. Wilfredo, hello. Hello, teacher. Good you? evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Um, just fine. Just fine. Nice. How? What about traffic? Um, como al travel. In, in my motorcycle. Motorcycle. Mor motorcycle. Very yeah. large traffic. Yeah, if you're traveling by motorcycle, uh, there's less traffic. I mean, you take advantage of some space. You gotta be careful. Yes. Well, and what time did you get home? Back to you. 
what time did you get home? Um, um, why at five and thirty PA? Okay, very early. Very early. Bastante temprano. Jeffy, solo cuando estoy trabajando lejos que me, me, me toca pesado. Okay. That happens, that happens. Good to have you here, welcome. Bienvenido. Thank you, sir. Thanks to you. Karen Beatriz, hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, that's nice. And what about your day? Uh, it was um, a good day because I finished uh, something that I had pending. Oh, good. Yes. That's good because I mean, it is no good when we have some process unfinished. Yes. And it's satisfactory. When you know that you have done your job, that you are done, you're finished. It feels good, right? Right. Yeah, I understand the feeling. Well, that's nice, that's nice. Welcome to the class, Karen. Thank you. Luis Antonio, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I have a good day, teacher, with a lot of work, with a lot of motivation. Uh, this day, it was preparing report for tomorrow. And tomorrow I have a meeting with my boss and uh, I teach only. Meetings are not something that I enjoy. I mean, I don't like meetings. <laughs> yes, teacher. And the difficult, difficult is uh, with, uh, how do you say, lidiar with the traffic, lidiar con el traffic. Deal, deal with traffic. Traffic, yes. For example, yesterday, me tuvo que quedar en la empresa, viajo un día, sí, un día, ¿no? Porque es complicado. The traffic is terrible. Yeah. Some days are hard. Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes. And Mondays are special. Mondays are something very special. Yes, uh, Monday and Friday. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, are very difficult. Uh, with a lot of motivation, teacher. That's nice. Oh, I like that. Excellent. Welcome yes, to the class. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Okay, let's see. Ivania. Hello, Ivania. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. And what about you? How was today for you? Mm. 
Was it a good day, a bad day, a heavy day? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Tired. Tired? A long day at work. Ay. Mucho trabajo. Okay, well, but the good thing is that you're here, ready for the class. That's very, very nice. Welcome to the class, Ivania. Bienvenida. Okay, let's see. Veronica. Hello, Veronica. How are you? Hello, Veronica. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Good, but tired of the traffic. Tired? A lot of traffic? Mm, yes, in the morning, in the afternoon. Always. That's nice, that's nice. The good thing is, well, I mean, what is nice is that you're home ready to for the class. Traffic is not nice, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yes. A little bit difficult, right? Yes. But what can we do? I mean, that's life in San Salvador. Exactly. And tell me, what did you do today? In the morning, I I went to an activity with fifty athletes outside my office, and in the afternoon, I have a meeting with my boss, and I I was planning. The next activity with mm, esos atletas, como sería? Those athletes. Athletes, athletes. yeah. Those uh -huh. athletes. Okay. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. well, Only that. Yeah. Well, and that's a lot. Day. That's a lot, that's a lot. Welcome to the class. Thank you. No, thanks to you. Nice having you here. Let's see. Well, guys, hmm. today we're missing a lot of people. Okay, well, let's see activities for today. Very simple. Today we're going to start with, um, I need to adapt because I was expecting everybody to be here early in order for us to do the interview. Do you remember? But due to the fact that not everybody is here, we are going to, I have a plan B, don't worry. We always got a plan B. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Today we are going to talk about stress. Okay. 
okay? And I got a couple of questions that we are going to be discussing. But before we do that, uh, I would like to get the attendance. Let's see, Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Marmo. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Presente, Che. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Ivan Yamile Domínguez Hernández. Present teacher. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Karen Beatriz Morataya Segovia. Presente. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Presente, Chef. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Presente. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Presente, Chef. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Presente, Chef. Rosalina Alvarado, Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez, Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz, Present teacher, Simar Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales, Present, Carlos Josué Chávez, Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino, Present. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. Okay. So, I got a couple of questions for you guys. We are going to go to the breakout rooms. We're going to have a short conversation, okay? And we are going to talk about stress. I know that, you know, nowadays everybody is kind of stressed, right? Let me see just one little thing. Okay, I will send you the questions right now. Okay, the questions are these ones. Look, what is a stress? What causes a stress? How do you recognize a stress in your life? Have you, have you been under stress recently? How does a stress affect you? Okay. You're going to be working in groups. You will have five minutes to talk about, and I will be jumping from group to group, checking out your performance, okay? I need you speaking in English, remember. That's the idea for you to practice speaking.
Okay, let's see. Luis, Antonio, tell me what is a stress? What is a threat? What do you think it is a threat? How can you define the word stress? Um, it's uh, uh, something I have uh, that is the difficult uh, in the world and something, uh, uh, how do you say este cuando how do you say in in, in in English a veces cuando tengo problemas en algún problema que resolver en mi trabajo when i have a problem when i have problem. a problem to solve to solve at work solve at work yeah yes Okay, okay. Yeah, and tell me, how does the stress affect you, you personally? You get um, like uh, angry or tense or... Maybe teacher, uh, something in in the relation um, uh, with my family. Okay. Mm, yeah, you are like moody. Yes, yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, you ask your classmates. Luis Antonio, ahora usted pregúntale a sus compañeros. Okay, teacher. Sorry. And... For emotional tension. Hello, teacher. Hello. Really? Oh, uh, much. <laughs> the three questions. Now? You have to ask your classmates. Excuse me? You got to ask your classmates. Hay que preguntarle a los compañeros. Yeah. No sé cómo vamos a hacer la dinámica, compañeros, para ordenarlos. ¿Cuál era la siguiente que no la? ¿Se ¿Sí? La segunda dice. Is a feeling of Physical or causa dolor. Eh, ah. El estrés causa dolor de cabeza o falta de energía y concentración. Falta de energía y concentración. Uh -huh. Oh, what else is this? Mm. Uh, what else is
Hi, Ingrid. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maylene, what's stress for you? I think it's a feeling uh, of physical or emotional tension. In my case, uh, I think, I feel this, uh, this, uh, uh, of the, it's a sentiment or oh, it's a feeling. Feeling. I feel in this. <laughs> yeah. I <No>. understand you. <laughs> I understand you. I understand you. Okay. Thank you. What about you, Antonio? Tell me, uh, how does stress affect you? <clears throat> okay, well, I'm turning off the gun. Ingrid, hello, you're home. Hello, teacher. I don't listen in good. I have a uh, question, please. Tell me, how does the stress affect you? Um, We lost your microphone, Ingrid. Is affect when the your body is not okay. 
how do you say functional? Functioning. Functioning good uh, with my partner took uh, uh, when the difference uh, when uh, different people don't uh, didn't care, you know, no pueden dormir. Uh, cannot sleep. Cannot sleep in the night. At or, night. At night, sorry. Oh, oh, it's very different. Different people, um, different people, uh, sleep every day, all day. I don't know. And, and when the you work, uh, you you your routine is not very good. Uh, is bad. And your character is very uh, ex explosive or, or super Explosive, fuerte. yeah. A yeah, strong character. Yes, teacher. Uh, I don't okay. know the whatever problem, but I I only took with my partner this problem. Okay. Now, guys, next couple of questions. Do you know the policies at your workplace? What are some of them? Rules, policy. Uh, politica, okay, from your company. What are some of them? You need to share with your classmates, van a compartir con sus compañeros at least two policies from your company, okay? So you will have just three minutes. This is going to be fast. Let's do it. El de la carta, en mi caso, sería Good Confidential Information of the Brand. Eh, la otra sería eh, Do not use the phone in private areas. No usar el teléfono en áreas no permitidas. No sé si ustedes tienen más políticas. Yeah, I have a problem with my airplane. Justify late arrivals. Justificar las llegadas tardes. Maybe. Uh -huh. and, 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 your, and your workplace? Sí, yes, yes, I know. Um, um, what do you say? 
Um, teacher, yes, I have a question. Me. The, the politics, the politics is in the specific policies, area. Policies. Policies is a specific area in the, in my company. Or can be general. Okay. Okay. Sería entonces de, um, uh, in, in politics and the areas inventory. Uh, se que ver. Sería. Inventory. Inventory. <laughs> Teacher, um, policies can be um, como rulers. General. Or, uh -huh. or in my case, the politics, in, politics in the area inventory in my company is uh, then physical inventory is done once a month. Inventario físico se hacen una vez al mes. Area uh -huh. inventory. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's see, Veronica, tell me some policies from your company, please. In, in my department, uh, policies is people with dis disabilities, can play sports. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, excellent. Let's see, what about you, Wilfredo? Tell me, can you tell me at least one police from your company? Policies in the world place not drinks. Oh, okay. Hard drinks. Hard drinks. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's okay. Ivania, what about you?
Let's see. Well, Luis Antonio, tell me. Hi, teacher. Uh, uh, pol pol police at workplace, number one is work after five is charge overtime. And number two, invoice collection to credit every 30 days. Let's see, um, Simara, what about you? Okay, let's see. Karen Beatriz. Okay. Policy for the prevention of sexual exploitation and abuse, PAs, and uh, purchasing okay. policy. Interesting. Quite interesting. Let's see what. Still got, yes, yeah, still got a couple of minutes. Uh, Ivan, Ivan Guzman, tell me, what about in your company? What are some policies that you can share with us? Okay. Uh, the, the policies in my company, uh, uh, different areas, uh, in case areas inventory, uh, uh, Physical inventory is done once a month. And the areas, uh, human resources, uh, all lakes arrival must be excused. Only that. Okay, perfect, thank you. Excellent, excellent. Okay, guys, now we go to the conversation. We go to work in the manual. Let's see, um, actually, you know, those questions that you've been answering are from the manual. And let me share with you. Okay. It was in, we are in unit four, company procedures and policy. Activity one was, do you know the policies of your workplace? What are some of them? Okay, now we got a conversation that we are going to practice and then to present to the class, okay? And the conversation goes like this. Hey, Max. I'm sorry. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies do you have in your company? How are you, Max? Well, well, how are you, Bruno? In this case, there's a mistake here, okay? How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes. You should. I see. I'm sorry. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. Okay, guys, I repeat. Hey, Max, look. I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. 
we also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. So remember that here. Um, remember that here is not Max, okay? Here is Bruno, right? How are you, Bruno? Okay, guys, I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms so you can practice. But before, I will share with you the, the, the screenshot of the conversation. Okay, there you go. Let me just recreate the groups. Okay. Let's do it, guys. Four minutes to practice. A uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. I'm sure you notify your superiors if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work, so you shouldn't do it, do it. I think so too. Okay, you and you, you start. Okay. Hey, Max. Oh, hey, Max. No, no, listen to the teacher. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do, if you do this, you receive a warning. And should you not notify your superior? 
Our Jew, bro, no. Well, there are many policies in, their co in my company. For example, in Soji, we should be a uniform always. Yes, in my company, it shouldn't be like it to, to be to receive a warning. And should you notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. It should be good. I think so too. Okay. Uh, ahora empieza Eli. Sí, y luego Xiomar. Hey Max, okay. look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. Well, you know, there are many policies in my company. Teacher. Yes, mister. Me sacó la aplicación o ya volvieron. Yeah, everybody's coming back. Todo ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. Oscar and Luis Antonio. Okay, teacher. Uh, let's see, Luis, you will start. You are Bruno, Oscar, you are Max. Okay. okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many police in my company. For example, employees should wear uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive, receive a warning. Um, should you not notify your superior if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I see. Another police we have of my work is the use drug. Nobody should do drug. We also have that policy in my work too. You should do it. I think. So. I think okay, so. perfect. Superiors. Superior. Superior. Okay, guys, and um, both of you remember should, should. L before D, no sound. La L antes de una D no tiene sonido, okay? Should. Should. Okay. Shouldn't. Shouldn't. Cuando es negativo, vamos a pronunciar la D como que fuera una R. Shouldn't. 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 Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. 
Thank you. Thank you. Xiomara and Maylin. Xiomara, you are Bruno. Maylin, you are Max. Hey, Max, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Right. In my company, you should be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And you notify your superiors if you do something wrong. Yes, you should. I see. Another policy we have uh, at work is use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have the police in our work too. We can do it. I think so too. Perfect. Wow. Very well done, guys. Excellent. Gabriel Beltran and Antonio Roda. Gabriel, you are Bruno. Antonio, you are Max. Hey. No. You start, Gabriel. Okay, thank you for coming, Dorian. How are you, Gabriel? Bruno? Yes, continue. Okay. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should be a uniform always. Okay, uh, the where in my company should, should I delay to do this? You receive a warning. Can you, you notify you to see you? If you do something wrong. Yes, it's you. I see. Another policy we have is at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should be choose the drugs. We also have that policy in the world to you choose to live. I think so too. Okay, drugs, drugs. No problem, no problem. Drugs, remember, drugs. No. Nobody, nobody. Nobody. Okay, thank you. When, when you we, do, Wilfredo and Ivan. Wilfredo, you will start. Hey, Max, look and want to know what police you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many police in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be there if you do this, you decide in a warning. I should you notify your super superiors if you done something wrong. Yeah, you should. I see. Another policies we have at my works in the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You should. Learn do it. I think so too. Okay, perfect. 
Thank you. Mm, Rosalina, and let's see. And Karen Beatriz. Okay. Ingrid, you ready? Yes, teacher, sorry. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Then I'm sorry, Karen. Rosalina and Ingrid. Rosalina, you start. Okay. Hey, Max. Look, I want to know the policies you have in your company. How are you? Well, there are mar there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear uniform always. Well, in my company. You shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And show you notify your so superiors if you do sometimes warm. Yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drug. Nobody show do drug. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. <clears throat> Wait, teacher. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. Thank Thanks you, teacher. You guys. Karen Beatriz, you ready? Yes. Okay, Ivania, you ready? Okay. Okay, Karen, you start. Hey, Max, look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Max? Well, there are many points in my company, for example, in case to wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you receive a warning. And sure, you not say you're super. If you something wrong, yes, you should. I see another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think you should. Okay, okay, perfect. Now, uh, where did you go? Edwin, Edwin Alberto and Veronica. Edwin, you are Bruno, Veronica, you are Matt. Okay. Hey, Matt. Look, I want to know what policies you have in your company. How are you, Bruno? Well, there are many policies in my company. For example, employees should wear a uniform always. Well, in my company, you shouldn't be late. If you do this, you will say a warning. And should you notify your superiors if you do something wrong? Yes, you should. I, another policy we have at my work is the use of drugs. Nobody should do drugs. We also have that policy in my work too. You shouldn't do it. I think so too. I think so too. I think so too. Okay, I think so too. Okay, let me. I guess I got. I guess I got everybody right. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's see. Okay, guys, now, uh, oh my gosh, the attendance, the second attendance, did I get it? No, oh, right. no attendance. Okay. 
Perfect. Thank you. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elivaldo Abrego Mármol. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Estefan Elisset Molina Rodríguez. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Present teacher. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. I hear. Iván Echamile Domínguez Hernández. Present. Ivette Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Karen Beatriz Moratalla Segovia. Present. Carla Lisset García Lemos. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present. Present. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Rosales. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Verónica Arelia Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. Carlos Josué Chávez. Okay, guys. Now, uh, the next point to work in this class is related to the. Hold on, give me just a second. Give me just a second, please. Okay. Sorry. As I was telling you, uh, today we're going to work with model. We're going to practice uh, shoe. As you could see in the exercise, uh, shoe, we are using it. In this case, we are using it to express uh, a strong advice. Okay, a very, very strong advice. That's what we express when we use should. Questions up to now? Preguntas hasta ese momento? No? Okay, perfect. Continue. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But my computer is lagging. Just give me a second. Okay, problem fixed. Thank you guys. Really appreciate your patience.
Now, as I was telling you, we used shield when we want to express a strong, strong vibe. Okay, it's a suggestion. It can be also be a recommendation, but let's go to the to the manual. Uh, 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 well, no, before that, I'm I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the. about the structure, okay? Okay, now. Shoe, we are talking about shoe. If you remember, when we talk about shoe, we are talking about a model. This is a modal verb. Modal verbs, they work as an as auxiliaries. Now, the structure, okay? The structure goes as follows. You have, you start your sentence with your subject. In this case, we are talking about simple present, okay? After the subject, you get the verb, the model, should. After this, you get the verb, in simple form, simple form or base form, okay? Forma simple or forma base, plus complement. Okay, now something very, very important for you to remember is this, the verb always in simple form, okay? Oh, sorry. Simple plus. No. Simple present form. Oh, excuse me. Remember, you got subject plus shoe plus verb in simple. Oops, simple. I'm sorry. Simple form plus complement. Now, remember that this is always, always is going to be present, okay? We're talking about present here. Present simple form, okay? So that means that you you should practice English every day. This is a strong recommendation, guys. If you want to learn English, you should practice every day. Subject, the auxiliary, the modal auxiliary, the verb in simple form, and then the complement. You see, very simple. Now, remember, always after models, the verb in the base form. Siempre después de un modal, el verbo va a ir en su forma base. Okay? And you tell me, what about present perfect? You still say, okay, the present perfecto. Oh, yeah, sure. You can express it, look. You should have practice, so. English every day. Now, in here, if you notice, you tell me, well, but we have present perfect. Aquí tenemos un presente perfect. Right? And you know that for this, in este caso, you know that this is an auxiliary, right?
you know that your structure is, in this case, you have um, auxiliary for present for perfect tense that are have. or has plus the verb in past participle, right? Now, it is true, but if you notice after the model, is an incorrect, but if you notice after the modal should que tengo a verb in a verb, and this verb is in present have present. Okay, so it doesn't matter, but I cannot write something like you should will, it's not acceptable. You should deal, not acceptable. After should, you have to place a verb in simple present form, okay? Questions? What is, what is, is what is the meaning use auxiliary hacks plus past participle? I'm sorry? I don't, I don't, I don't understand. Les estoy you, explicando Les estoy explicando cuando tenemos un tiempo como el presente perfecto. No importa si es presente perfecto. Si usted se fija, después del should tenemos el auxiliar. Have. Ese está en presente. Entonces, después del should siempre hay un verbo en su forma simple present. Y ahí dice, usted debería haber practicado. Ah. Debería haber practicado. Okay. Now, just remember something, guys. That when you say you should, it's true. Uh, I just told you debería, but that that is strong. Yes, it's fuerte. Sí, lo es. Just remember something. There's always options when you use should. When we say should, hay opción. It's not like close. Está como cerrado. There are options. Okay. Because in Spanish, we use the same word for both situations. En español utilizamos la misma expresión para las dos situaciones. Debería y debe. Debe is mandatory. In English, that's must. Should. There are options. Let me show you. From the manual. In your manuals, you have a short explanation in page number 40. Okay. And I'm going to share with you right now what the manual showed. Okay. How to use should? You use the model very should for strong advice and recommendation. The structure subject plus should plus verb plus complement. Affirmative statements, you should wear a helmet inside the factory. You should be on time every day. Now, if you notice in the negative form, what you do? Contract the not with should. Employees shouldn't. We should not or we shouldn't. Forget to wear the uniform. Okay, now guys, you should to write sentences about the policies in your workplace using the words in parentheses. Okay, you need to talk about your schedule, your dress code, attend training, sleep in work hours. An example, an example. Okay, I'm gonna talk about sleeping work hours. Okay, look. In my company, they say that you shouldn't sleep in work hours. That's 
mandatory in the company, okay? You shouldn't sleep in work hours. That's in my company. What about in yours? So what you're going to do is working in groups, you're gonna get me these four sentences, okay? My schedule, my dress code, attend training, sleep in work hours. Tell me about policies, create policies, okay? Teacher, what is the meaning of my desk, dress score? Dress code. Dress code. Uh, son las normas de vestimenta. Oh, okay, like, gracias. Like, can you go in shorts to your company? No, teacher. Okay, so you got a dress code. Okay, thank you. No problem. I am sending you right now the image so you can work in the groups and you're gonna be working in small groups, okay? Groups are created. Let me just do a little thing. Okay.
¿Qué más? Attend trainings. Because the employees should, o sea, los empleados deben atender el entrenamiento. Pero en inglés tiene que hacer the employees should the attend trainings. ¿Ah? Huh? Perfect. Perfect. Ah, the employees, uh-huh. Rainy. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the last one is employees. Before, it's already the teacher. Before I... Sorry, 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 guys.
my mistake. I'm sorry, guys. My apologies. I click what I shouldn't have. Okay. I know that the sentences are very simple, right? My schedule, the number one, my schedule. Ingrid, give me an example, please. Yes, teacher, just a second. Okay, the first. I shall comply with my schedule in my work. Okay, I should comply with my schedule in my work. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Okay. Luis Antonio, dress code. Okay, teacher. Uh, you should respect my dress code. Excellent. Attend trainings. Rosalina. Employees should attend trainings. Perfect. Well done. And sleeping work hours. Well, I did that one, right? Okay. It's very simple. Now, guys, I need you to create a short conversation. Okay. You will create a short conversation using should or shouldn't. Talking about your work. Imagine that you are uh, co workers. Okay. So, you're going to create a short conversation, use should or shouldn't in your conversation, okay? You will have eight minutes to create and practice your conversation. When we come back, you're going to present to the class. Questions about the activity? No? Perfect, so let's do it. If you got any, any doubt, please let me know if I can help you. For sure, I will get into your group, okay?
Are you working on your conversation, guys? Hello. Now, teacher, I'm uh, Rosalina, but I know on the... Rosalina, hello. Stephanie. Oh, Stephanie is having problems with the, with the microphone. Yeah. Oh, there's Rosalina. Remember, you need to create a short conversation, okay? You should or should. Hi, hi. Sorry, I have problem with the internet for the rain right now. Excuse me. Mailing, vamos a usar su nombre más formal. Como. You should. You should. Eh. Eh, como reiniciar, algo así. You should. Restart. Uh -huh. Restart. Uh -huh. Oh, the computer. No, you should get a hammer, you know. <laughs> you should open the... Yeah, get a hammer, get a hammer. <laughs> Okay, teacher. En el trabajo. Ajá. Ajá. Catch you. Ingrid, <laughs> I need to stay a few minutes after class, please. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. I was late again for work. Again for work. Oh, for I was late again uh -huh, for work. Y Veronica. You should, yeah. No solo. Ajá, uh -huh, puede ser en serio. Uh, oh, really? Why? Uh -huh. uh, you should. Yeah. Really? Uh -huh. Really? Tú deberías de levantarte más temprano. Ajá. Uh -huh. You should. Ah, deberías llegar más temprano por ahorita para hacerlo un poquito Ajá. más largo. You should. Mm. You should going or you should arrive. Mm. You should arrive. Uh, ajá, arrive, uh, arrive early. Early, ajá. Arrive early. Are you at work? Mm. O más temprano, ¿cómo sería? More ¿Cómo? early. Earlier. 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 Ok. Earlier. Really, you should arrive early. Earlier. Earlier. Ok. At work. Mm -hmm. y, yo, y yo le digo, Verónica, como... Eh, Yes, I know, I know. Um, yes, I know. Tipo sí, decirle eso. Y de ahí usted me dice, eh, o deberías de levantarte una hora antes o 15 minutos, no sé. Uh -huh. Vaya, vamos por eh, llorar más temprano. Ajá. Entonces, ahí yo le tendría que responder. Eh, no, o yo, o, o, ¿cómo lo pensó Verónica? Primero yo. No, yo le puse solo really, what, y le puse why. You should arrive earlier. Ah, why, yo no puse eso, espéreme, why. Eso lo pone usted y yo Ajá. le contesto. Y yo le contesto. <risa> ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué podría llegar? <risa> ah, pero lo otro, lo otro no lo puse. You should arrive early. Eso sí lo puso usted. Sí, sí, sí. Va. Y yo le puedo poner why you should arrive er earlier a work. Pero no lo entiendo. ¿En serio? ¿Por qué? Y el uh -huh. you should arrive earlier. Deberías llegar más temprano. Así. Más en ah, sí. Y yo, le yo te puedo decir yes, I know. Eh, no sé qué hacer. Hello, guys. You did your conversation.
ready mailing? Yes, teacher, but uh, uh, Luis needs to send the image uh, to, to Gabriel. Oh, okay. Ay, no, la cámara otra vez, qué problem. I don't have camera. Don't worry, don't worry, but I can hear you. That important. Believe me, cannot you. start video. This a toilet to start the video camera. Yeah, but I can see you right now. Ah, yes, of course. I see. <laughs> it's the internet for the rain. Have a lot of problems. Okay. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Let's see. Okay, guys, who wants to start? Which group? Volunteers, right now. I want to hear your conversation. Who? Me. Okay. And Oscar. Who's your partner. Um, Oscar Armando. You are He's here? here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Hi, Oscar. How are you? Hi, Rosalina. And you? Fine. I think about the policies in my work. Uh, I talked to you about this, for example. Every day, the employees in my work be on time because use the mark clock. And you? And your company? Sure. In, in my company, uh, I work uh i work there should be more uh, cameras they should respect each other and they should the uh, break um need a uh, mid morning i think mm. i think ah uh, okay it's, it's a There is a, do you want to make these policies in your work, no? Should be? Yeah. Sure. Okay. This yeah. way, teacher. <laughs> great, great. Thank you. Okay, You're next welcome. volunteers. Thank you, Ivan. You and your group. They are the next volunteers. I don't know, Veronica and me. Veronica and you? Okay, Ingrid and Veronica. Veronica, you ready? Yes. There yes. she is. Okay, great. Okay, Veronica, I was late again for work. Really? Why? You should arrive earlier. Yes, I know. I don't know what to do with the traffic. Mm, you should sleep late. You should sleep late and you should leave home earlier. Yes, I know. I teacher, ¿cómo se dice yo seguiré tus consejos? I I will follow your advice. Okay, I will follow uh, your advice. Your advice. Thank you, Veronica. Okay. Right. <laughs> Finish. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. Okay, next. Wilfredo. Okay, Wilfredo. Hi, Van. Okay. My friend, Wilfredo. Sir. Ready. How yes. are you? How are you, my friends? Hello, Ivan. Today, I feel a little sick. Oh, really? You should go to the company clinic. 
you shouldn't be in the offices like this. Okay. Shouldn't. 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 Right. Excellent. Let's see. Luis Antonio. Okay, teacher. Mailing podría compartirla. Hi guys, I need help with a problem with my computer. Hello Mailing, what is your problem? When I open the program, my computer is freeze. Mailing, you should restart it. Yes, I tried, but I call, couldn't, could open it. You should hold the power button down for five minutes. Okay, thank you. I work for me. Hello, Mandy. Hello, Mandy. Mandy, if this don't work, call me again. No, let's go. If this don't work, call me again. If it doesn't. If it doesn't work, call me again. Okay, yes. Teacher, this moment rang me very hard here. Okay, no uh, problem, no problem. Listen. Sorry. No problem. Luis Antonio, restart it, restart it. Okay, teacher, restart it. Restart like it. Perfect, okay. excellent. Thank you, teacher, restart it. No, thanks to you. Am I missing someone? No. Okay, let's see. Then, right now, uh, Edwin Alberto. Hello. Okay, let's see. Ingrid. Ingrid Berlin. Hi. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Ingrid, uh, are there situations that you find it stressful? What type of situations get you stressed? Uh, ¿Cuáles son las situaciones que me he encontrado hoy? Yes, exactly. Okay. No, that make you stressed. Uh, que me no. Okay. I may uh, the traffic. Okay, traffic gets me stressed. Traffic get me? gets me stressed. Get, ¿Qué significa gets, gets me? Me estresa. Get, okay, sorry. Um, I, the other situation is, for example, when I need prime whatever document <laughs> and the printer don't don't the printer uh, doesn't work uh, the printer doesn't work um, <sighs> that's it that's it <laughs> great thank you okay let's see rosalina what it stresses you out Excuse me, I, I I cannot listen because the ring is too strong. The question is right there in the chat. Ve al chat de Zoom. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Ooh. What stresses you out? Okay, let's, yes. Uh, oh yeah, what stressed you out? Yes. Mm. Que le estresa? Um, right now, the, the rain because I, can I, <laughs> I can I, 
<laughs> right in this right in this moment yeah. the rain is threatening yes. okay perfect. it's hard to, to pay attention in the class because <laughs> behind me i is understand i rain. understand sorry but there is a good example for this situation okay perfect <laughs> wilfredo i got a different question for you tell me wilfredo how do you relieve stress? Como libera? How do you relieve stress? Um, I liberate stress. Mm, sleeping. <laughs> okay, you relieve stress sleeping. So that means that in 10 minutes, you're gonna be like yeah. gone. Yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Let's hope tomorrow everybody attends to the class so we can do the, thank you, Wilfredo, so we can do the interview, remember. Perdón que, voy a pasar al español, perdón que no hicimos lo de la entrevista de trabajo ahora, pero eh, no estuvimos todos y varios tuvieron problemas con la conexión. Pero mañana sí vamos a hacer las preguntas para la entrevista de trabajo en inglés, okay? Eh, let's see, just let me get the final attendance. Oh, perdón, antes que se me olvide, y esto sí lo explico en español. Posiblemente les comiencen a caer algunos de ustedes en esta semana un correo concerniente a la encuesta de satisfacción. La encuesta de satisfacción es algo que hacemos juntos todos en la última clase. Así que, por favor, en esa no se me vayan a adelantar. Creo que les aparecen dos. La otra es donde me evalúan ustedes a mí. Pero la encuesta de satisfacción, por favor, no se me vayan a adelantar porque esta la hacemos juntos. Es un proceso que hacemos en la última clase, ¿ok? Let me get the final attendance, please. Carlos Eduardo Artiga Barrios. Carlos Elibaldo Abrego Mármol. Edwin Alberto Rodríguez Lobo. Stephanie Lisset Molina Rodríguez. Thank you, Carlos. Gabriel Beltrán Pérez. Present teacher. Ingrid Beatriz Natalia Palacios Molina. Molina. Present. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present. Ivania Chamile Domínguez Hernández. Ivet Lisset Figueroa de Calles. Karen Beatriz Morataya Tegovia. Carla Lizette García Lemus. Thank you, Carla. Luis Antonio Abrego Sarabia. Present, teacher. Magdaleno Escalante Orantes. Maylin Janet Manzano Montoya. Present, teacher. Nelson Antonio Arrodas Posale. Present, teacher. Oscar Armando Romero Mendoza. Present teacher. Rosa, Rosalina Alvarado. Present teacher. Tonight, Carlos. Verónica Arelí Ayala Ramírez. Present. Wilfredo Arevalo Ortiz. Present teacher. Xiomara Elizabeth Cisneros Rosales. And Carlos Josue Chavez. Guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Yeah. Good night, yeah. Ivan. Good night, teacher. Bye, guys. Bye, Gabriel. Antonio. Wilfredo. Have a good night. Good night. Okay. Let's see. Hello, hello. 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 Oh my gosh, you're in PGs. You are ready to go to sleep. <laughs> yes, uh in here is 12 12 out 12 p.m. Oh. So yeah. where are you now? ¿Dónde estoy? Yeah. In New Jersey. 
Oh, yeah, you told me the other day, right? It's, it's two hours the different, different. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when you coming back? Um, I come back uh, the next Thursday. Oh, yeah, you told me you were going to be one week or two weeks? Two weeks, right? Two weeks. I, I come two back weeks. the 30 August. August. August, August the 30. August 30. Okay, and we, I won't take that much time from you. I'm going to go ahead and much tiempo. Okay. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, tengo un problemita con su trabajo de la plataforma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tengo que en algunas secciones no me terminó. Entonces, por ejemplo, en la sección 2, De 69, de 100 puntos tiene 69. Uh -huh. Sección 3 solamente tiene 25 puntos. Fíjese, teacher, no sé ver? si eso está... ¿Perdón? No, 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 perdón, yo confundido. Sección 2 tiene 60. Ajá. Sección 3 tiene 40. Sección 4 tiene 80. Vaya, pero... Donde más tenemos problemas en el midterm y en el final exam. Ajá. El final, desde luego, tenemos tiempo todavía, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque eso es para el lunes. Uh -huh. Pero en el midterm solamente tengo el 25%. Es que fíjese, en ese teacher, creo que son las que yo tenía dudas y cuando ya la ponía, bueno, quizás siguen estando eh, equivocadas, no me las reconoce como buenas eh, y no sé si aún tengo tiempo para poder sure, sure, ponemos okay. todo el tiempo del mundo hagamos algo eh, mm -hmm. me imagino que usted va a pasar muy ocupada estos días no teacher, eh, yo paso, estoy trabajando desde casa, entonces paso conectada ok, si sí, el proyecto es que yo mañana no tengo tiempo jueves tengo reunión Si quiere, puedo viernes, puedo sábado. Viernes, quizás. Si puede, si puedo, teacher, yo le voy a mandar. Eh, si logro terminarlo sin necesidad de, de del apoyo, le voy a mandar en las que me salía incompleto y se las voy a compartir solo para que sepa y en las que realmente tenga dudas se las comparto para que me apoye vale. cuando pueda. En las que usted tenga dudas, hagamos eso. En las que usted tenga dudas, usted puede trabajar más estos días. Y no le salen buenas, usted me manda la captura, me dice cuál es el ejercicio, uh -huh. el número de ejercicio, y en el transcurso del día yo le voy a mandar este something. Ok. Yo le ayudo. ¿Está ok por ti? ¿Te parece bien? Sí. Ok, perfecto. Thank I you. hope you enjoy your trip. Espero que disfrute. Thank you, teacher. Bye bye. Have a good bye. night. Good night. Thank you.
home by home. Time to go.